All right, so you can actually get started with any project schedule template that you already have. You see I have one here, Tokyo Olympics. This is a project schedule that I've used in the past. You may have seen one of my videos before on this one. So she has nice reports. I've created dashboards and reports out of this schedule. I'm going to go back to the Gantt chart. And what I'm going to do is save this as a schedule. Before you do anything in terms of saving a project schedule as a template, you're going to want to make clean it up a little bit to get the views how you want them. So, for example, I don't want to see the work breakdown structure here. So I'm going to remove outline numbers. I can remove this here as well. Don't want that. So go ahead and tidy up any columns that you don't want. And just generally get the schedule looking how you want it. You can see here that I actually have resources assigned that are over allocated. I have tasks that have been marked as complete. Definitely not what I want. So what I'm going to do is control. So what I'm going to do is click in the top left hand corner, which will select all my tasks. Come to the task ribbon and select zero percent. Continue. And now that's just gone in and said all my tasks are now 0% complete nothing has been started what I'm also going to do is come in and push out my project start date to maybe a start date that is in the future let's go for March April May let's say we'll get started May 1st perfect continue move the task before the project start date I think we had some cool logic here that made the task start before the actual project start date. <laughs> so we push that out. We definitely want to come in here and remove these over allocations on my resources. We want to even those out. But I think other than that, we're looking good. For the purposes of this template, I'm just going to save it off now. To do this, I'm going to click File, Save As save now some people attempted to use the use import wizard I never use that sometimes I've actually heard back in the day it had some bugs and things like that so I don't use it anymore um, I'm going to give this a template name of H uh, Olympics now let's call it HR template sticking with the theme you can see that our custom fields are here and we can actually come in here and by default specify metadata I'm not going to do that. I can specify the calendar. We'll come back to that and we'll update our project schedule template if necessary. But you can specify which project calendar you want to create or, or add for this project. At this point, I'm just going to press on the type and select that template. That's the differentiator. When I save it as a template, it's going to save it up so that I can use it on future projects as part of my enterprise project type. And we talked about that in a previous video. I'm going to press save. I'm going to come in and remove all these values here. So I always just come in and just remove them all. It will scrub your schedule for you. So if you baselined it, it's not going to have a template with a baseline because that would be silly. Actual values, you know, did we start the tasks? How much did we spend on that particular task? Things like that. And scrub those values, press save. Saying enterprise standard calendars are needed. You must select an enterprise calendar for every template that you use. So, as you're saying, do I want to use the, um, the enterprise standard template, uh, standard calendar? I'm going to say yes. Ideally, we'd have our own at this point already created, and we'd use that. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a future video. All right, our HR template is now created. Close out the Microsoft Project. Go back to Project Online. Let's take a look at that in the Enterprise Project Type. This is kind of extra now. We're good at this point. If you want to click away, you can. But uh, I'm going to come into the Enterprise Project Type. On my HR project and associate it 
with an enterprise project type. So come down to the end, as long as it's not the default, I'll be able to select my HR template. Remember I told you in a previous video that if you're using this project type as the default, you will not be able to select a project plan template. I call them project schedule templates. There you go, plan, schedule, same difference. I even call them schedules sometimes, as you've probably discovered. All right, that is creating a project schedule template for project online. Thanks.